they work their way back onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so well. else. And he, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Here we go, here we go. Wait, AD! Let's put him on the buses. Let's put that team on the bus. Good, good. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. the pickup on the pitch and catch. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. To throw again on second down, Garoppolo. And his throw is going to be incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for. And it's third and short. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way. here but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me i didn't see anything go, open and this play just didn't look right from the beginning it did not i thought he might get outside and just chuck it away dangerous pass incomplete to throw is garoppolo that's complete to a speedy wide out goodwin and he is tackled inside the 40 not quite to the 35 13 yards there at a niner first and a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, my initial thought was that maybe he was just trying to blindly throw this one away, and maybe he was, but he's going to get away with it because as he tried to throw it over the left sideline, there, there's a receiver right there in the area, so no grounding call. To throw on second and 10, Garoppolo toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking that time for Dante Pettis, and it's third down. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Encroachment, defense. So a jump there defensively. Here and it's a killer. Watch the football. The down. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Here we go, so here a first go, and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Chris Jones able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Throwing on second and eight, Garoppolo. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. 
This home crowd, they're happy with that call. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. Here they feel go, like it's go. been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. Now Garoppolo leaves for McKinnon on the draw. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. Garoppolo hustled him back to the line now. On second and 12, Garoppolo toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Had no command that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Here we go, and they're here we indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Looking for the end zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers. It's up. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. The 49ers moving hastily. They're scurrying to the line. Second down and goal, Garoppolo. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of 10 times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So they get a break there as the penalty moves him to the five for another third and goal. He's not going to get me. Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Nice job by Juan Thornhill there to get a hand in and break up the play. So it's been a long drive. They held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Chiefs are likely going to win the football game. Well, they had to take one final shot at the end zone, but now things are looking really bleak. And I agree with that totally. You had to take the shot if they did score. You know, whether you call it a miracle or not, you line up, onside kick, get the ball back, throw one more in the end zone, who knows? Had to take the chance, it just was unsuccessful. Come on, fellas. Intended for Dante Pettis. So the ref makes the call, no touchdown there, wipe it off the board. Now a play fake here on first down. And now he's going to use his legs. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. Mahomes going to throw it here. Sliding out of the pocket. Looking downfield for... And that's caught inside the 35. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 85 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. I tell you, Charles, you play to the final whistle, I get that. But there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with this one. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know who was really excited, fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points for me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. 
Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. One final try now for Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. And we'll get ready for the trek back to the city as we say so long from Santa Clara. Oh, what a great city it is. We're going to have a blast tonight.